Vegas, we've decided to do something else we've never done before, which is stop at the ghost town of Calico. And it's a lot of fun. We did the mystery shack. And uh, we got here yeah, about half an hour before it closed, so we don't really have time to see everything. Um, there are lots of little tours that you can do. Uh, there's a silver mine that you can visit. And um, it's just kind of an old, fun ghost town founded or built back up by Walter Knott, who found it not very important. Back in its heyday, the silver mine that's here, the Maggie Mine, uh, produced over $10 million worth of silver, which was an astonishing amount of money back in the 19th century. Uh, at that time, the U.S. was on the silver standard, and silver was worth a great deal of money. Eventually, the dollar was guaranteed by gold instead of silver. The price of silver went down, and most of the silver mines closed. And this became a ghost town. This house made out of bottles was built not in the 19th century, but between 1951 and 1956, 1966, by workers from Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, Calico was owned by Walter Knott, who founded Knott's Berry Farm uh, during that time. And his original plan was actually to put his Knott's Berry Farm here, but he couldn't get enough good water to grow his berries. So that ended up, in, farm ended up in Buena Park, and he gave Calico to the county of San Bernardino. But this house was actually built by, um, by some of his workers during the time when he owned Calico. Sometimes on road trips you're worried about getting to your destination. You see the signs or the historic marker or the thing that's a little bit off the, off the main highway and you decide not to get off the road because you've got to make time. But a lot of times the best times you make are the ones when you do bother to get off the road. 